Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt vehicle wiring harness. But before we get to that, why don't we just check this out and make sure it's gonna work for you. So what this wiring kit, what it's gonna do is power up the lights on your trailer. And so if you have a hitch and you're gonna be doing some towing, you know, the wiring kit is just going to kind of make it a complete package and allow you to stay safe and legal and let other people uh, around you know what your intentions are whenever you're towing down the road. So this is gonna be a four-way flat type connector. And this is one way you can store it. So I just have it looped around our safety chain opening there with our dust cap. And on this vehicle, it doesn't look bad at all. You know, I put some of this wire loom on there, which covers up the wires, makes it look a little bit better. Um, and yeah, it isn't really noticeable. It's easy to get to. And when you're ready to hook up your trailer, you just plug it right in. So like I said, this is a four-way flat, a really common type of connector, especially uh, for this type of vehicle and, and the types of trailers it can pull. And so uh, this should cover, cover your bases pretty well. And if you want some of this wire loom to, to kind of make everything pretty, uh, you will have to grab it separately. I'd say maybe a foot or two should do the trick. Um, but other than that, really straightforward. You know, it's gonna let all your lights work. Uh, probably one of my favorite parts about it is it's super easy to install. Just about anyone should be able to do this. There's a plastic panel you take down, um, really easy, and this literally just plugs right in. And then you use some of those zip ties that comes with it to kind of run your wiring and, and secure it. And that's really about it. So shouldn't run into too many issues uh, and shouldn't take you a whole lot of time. But if you'd like to see how that's done, feel free to hang out. We'll go ahead and hook this up together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here underneath the back of our Santa Fe. And first thing we need to do over here on the driver's side, we're gonna have a panel that we need to remove. That way we can get to the connector plug. To get the panel off on this bottom edge, we're gonna have three plastic pushpin fasteners. So you can take a flathead screwdriver, just pry underneath the head, and pull the whole base out. Set those down. And then up here, we're gonna have two 14 millimeter head nuts. And these are actually gonna stay attached to this panel, but they'll unscrew from the uh, studs there in the body of our vehicle. So you can just do this by hand. Sometimes you do have to apply a little downward pressure while you're unscrewing those to get it to, get it to come off. And then we can get to our connector plug here. So this is what we're looking for. And it is gonna have a dummy cap on it. That's just to protect it. So you pinch your side there and pull it off. We're not gonna be reusing this. And that's because our new wiring harness is gonna plug right into it. So I went ahead and secured and routed our wiring. So I just used a zip tie to tie up our module box to this factory wiring here. And while we're right here, you're gonna take your fuse holder and the included fuse and pop that in. And then our four-way flat wire just continues to run along through here. And when you route wiring, do your best to avoid any hot or moving parts. It just drops down to our hitch where I used our dust cover to mount it to our safety chain opening. I did the last, I don't know, a few inches. I took some of this wire loom, put it over the wire, just to help it uh, kind of blend in and look a little bit better. Um, this don't come with the kit, but you can pick some up here at each other. With all that wrapped up, now we can take the panel and reinstall it the opposite way that we removed it. Now we can test our wiring. I'm using this small tester, which is what I recommend, as opposed to just plugging into your trailer, because if you run into any issues, it might mislead you into thinking, um, you know, it's your vehicle side. But we'll try our left turn signal, our right turn signal, our brakes, and our running lights. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt vehicle wiring harness on our 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe.